This is the latest I got in dance hall and social media news so far. Tav, Vion, and Tash friendship ends after Tavian accuses her of stealing her fashion aesthetic. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Skillabang's baby mama and social media influencer Tav Vion and YouTuber Tash Fierce are no longer besties, and I guess all good things have to come to an end. Were they really genuine friends? In the first place? Because if you have to air your friend out, on the internet, during her birthday weekend, and talk about her copying you, like that, chances are the friendship was fake. Let me roll the clip of the drama. Tavian said Tash Fierce is copying her style. Bro, I literally just woke up because I need to start getting ready to go where I gotta go. Can y'all believe how confused I was when I woke up to see my comment section flooded with anything other than happy birthday? <laughs> Until I check my messages. I realized that y'all really want to do this internet shit and y'all are as delusional as she is. Okay. Since I want to do it, I'll play. Not today though. It's my birthday. Are you mad? Are you crazy? Like, I know you're going to try something today. But I didn't think you were going to try. I didn't think you were going to fire a big gun. Okay. Tomorrow, baby. <laughs> and Miss Tavian Telfa, I don't wish to make a next video. You're saying I got all these views and I don't know how to act. I never ask for this. Remember, my dear son, my own business, I enjoy my birthday. I ask my friend, they want want a nice, peaceful, chill birthday. No ackle up, no baga baga. That pic I posted on my birthday, I literally asked my friend, which one for post? The blue one or post that one? And they agree and said that one look more birthday. Ask, did you ask yourself? Jody and Nicole. They said that one look more for birthday because literally on the day, I was still trying to do my shoot. And I don't give a fuck or something like that before. I don't care. She can't done everything on the internet. Me see something and me like it, me go do it. Me don't care what a girl wear. As the drama unfolded, Tash lets her internet trolls egg her on to answer D gal. And while fans anticipated the so needed response yesterday on her live, Tash gets cold feet after it was alleged that Tav sent some cease and desist, which did not make no sense because did they sign a non disclosure contract? She finally gets courageous and posted this on her YouTube page. Here's what Tash responded and say. Okay. Yeah, to my supporters, I haven't posted in a minute. Today's video was actually supposed to be the Q&A that I posted on my Instagram like a week ago. Like, I promise y'all I was supposed to bake my cake for my birthday and do my q and I probably still get to do that. But oh girl, I have other plans for me, so here we are. So, top of the morning, bless the name of Jesus. Good morning, muddy muddy girls. Yeah, I blocked such B. I'm even not call her name. I blocked such B since March. And since March, since then, I don't know anything this girl posts on her page. Yes, no one then people will send me screenshots of her story subbing me, or they think she's subbing me. I have no idea. Because why, why would you be out here subbing me? I don't care what she has posted, I don't know what she has posted, nothing. If something even come up on my page pertaining to her, I block it. Her business page will come up, my people are reshare it, blocked. If you have other people that comment on my things, blocked. I block everything. When people send me things in my DM, blocked. Like people keep on sending me things, say, oh, she's subbing you, you know, answer, just like that. I don't give a I don't care about anything and I think she should know better than that. Her friends, I feel like I should have known me to certain levels. So I'm gonna care. I believe in an out of sight, out of mind and stay there. When we're in public and people mention her name, I literally just said, we're not friends anymore, please do not mention her name. While she take any kind of opportunity she take, she bring up my name. You are obsessed. Anyways, to the meat of the matter. This look outfit. This little piece of an outfit have me trending all over Jamaica. An outfit of the whole internet in frenzy. An outfit have strangers arguing about people that they don't know. It's crazy to me. Like, but that's important. Anyways, the picture. Let's pick it apart. I don't want peace. I want problems oh, always. You're saying that. I think there's three layers to this pic, right? Birthday. Mm? Two, white outfit. Three, beach side. We talk about 
birthday first. First of all, this is not my birthday pick. This should not be my birthday pick. It happened that I ended up posting it on my birthday. This is my birthday outfit. This is the inspo. This is me talking to my photographer. Look at the dates. It just fell through because the last minute, the day before the shoot, Devon was my mean was there. I'm not allowed to sit on their furniture or put things on their furniture. Search it up and low to find a furniture to rent to bring there because we can bring our own furniture. Because this is the info. I already bought my vintage candle. It's up on my table right now. I bought my vintage cake. That's what I wanted to do for my birthday. This little shoe, this little cute, cute thing. So that leads to the outfit now. B, I three times now, me wear the outfit. Three times now, me wear the outfit. I wore it to some face. I wore it to Allure and I got hella compliments and this outfit is from my business page. Of course, I'm going to pick in it regardless. It's fucking cute. And I need to promote my business because I'm just start it back. And this outfit is not, it is nothing original about the outfit. Nothing. It's a white outfit. That's how rich I saw it all over the page. People wear the same shit. Like there's nothing original about it. Not mysterious about it. I was cool with her when she posted that pic. I don't even know if she posted it on her page or whatever. I did not remember that pic at all. And initially, my little... Where's the necklace that I wore? Anyways, I cannot find the necklace, but the necklace was matched with my earring. These are the other two times I wore it. Completely different necklace. The beach picture, everybody had it. It's all over my explore page. It is all over my explore page. I actually wanted to do it in the sunset. These are all my saved. This is my explore page. Even right now, from a reload my explore page, it's all over it. There's nothing original about it. There's nothing original about it, babe. Just to put it out there, I didn't even buy this outfit with intention to wear it. This is for my business. I had to get last minute outfit for some vests. And I wanted to support my business. Put my money in my pocket. And it's cute. I picked it out. I liked it. I'm a normal have a body top. And so I did. And there's nothing original I wore this outfit. I got the same flowers stuff in three different styles. Check my page. I've been wore it. Nothing not original about a white two-piece set. Nothing not original about wear about wearing a long skirt on the beach. Everybody doing it. You can't you can't do everything but the pan Pinterest and the American girl doing it and then claim, oh people copied me, copied me. Girl, you don't even know yourself. You don't even have a style. Check my page. Everything been consistent. I keep it cute. I'm gonna try to follow whoever, whoever Missy Hat right now. I'm gonna try to follow for them style, try to follow for them style, and I try to fight. The girl delete her YouTube videos, them, you know. If she never delete them, only can li listen, literally go back and watch her videos. She always a try to find her style. She try to use stylists. She always a try to find her style. I've been know my style. I've been doing this. So, whoever know me because of her, please just, just take a seat in the back. I've been doing this. I've been growing my page from scratch. I never need help. I never need nobody to put me on. I never need to ride up for nobody. I stayed cute and pretty. That's, that's just my vibe. I don't mind if you change aesthetic every five seconds. Anything with the girl, I do it more. You know. What? And also, I don't know what point you were trying to prove by posting that screenshot with someone. Obviously lying. Saying I showed your pic in May pen to do an ear. I did my ear. <laughs> First of all. Them say, okay, touch come from me pen. I must me pen should wear ear. So, yeah, man, this, this is also unbelievable. I did my ear me pen once and I did a bob. I don't even know if you did a bob, and if you did one, it's after me. I did an eye like bob, and my info was from Pinterest. So, I don't know, I don't know where I said this girl was like, this is actually creeping me out. <laughs> like, literally, get off me. You should get off me. Out of sight, out of mind, stay there. Why you keep on a try to come back and, sh and show up yourself? Like, you keep on a talk about me. You keep on a post about me. You keep on subbing. You send me emails. Like, 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 just move on with your life and like, completely cancel me out. Forget that I even exist. Like, what, what's wrong with you? You're not, you're not, you're not have bigger things to worry about. Don't you have bigger things to worry about? I'm pretty sure you do. I don't give a fuck. This is weird. Every year. I'm actually scared. You are in my house, bro. What kind of weird shit are you doing? Weren't you in mine? Weren't you in mine, like, pregnant? When you just have a baby? You did in a little piece of dorm room. They wall at them time. So you mean by, oh, you were in my house. This is weird. Trying to play the victim so bad, like someone is trying to attack you or someone is doing something to you. It's because I don't have anything else to say. So, okay, guys. I'm sure not pre. We were friends. Good friends, we talk as much as, as childish and maddy maddy as she is. 
we talk like adults like that's one thing we always talk about stuff for some reason i don't know why i don't know maybe i'm doing something and i don't realize maybe i'm delusional but for some reason people always say i'm copying her right and we had that same exact conversation because i like i withdraw from the relationship like i literally step back and she picked that up and so forth like she pick up some kind of no we're not really in her like that like we kind of she pick up some step back more than once so we were having a conversation i'm just like bear in mind i build i build my youtube all my platforms by myself from scratch so all of a sudden people keep on associating me with her everything is like oh this oh cloak this that and that that and that i'm just like Tash, you need, you need to step back because you're an individual. You're not such great friend. You're an individual. We had that same conversation. She's like, I don't think we just alike. We, we both have our different style. You're definitely not copying me. They just, they just want to be you. Oh, so all of that gone from. All of a sudden, are you, you think I'm copying you too. All of a sudden. Because, you know, that's the, what the internet say. You know, that's the only thing bothered me. As a Leo, as a big ego motherfucker. You know that's the only thing that could have ever bother me because why 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 do you think would I want to copy a girl like <laughs> but all of a sudden oh this is creepy oh you're doing it every year but every year you know me I've never said it we have a lot of conversation lots of mature big conversation and you've never said it you're just there playing in my face huh I'm not competing with you never been who is competing with you? We have two different goals. You know this. We have two different goals. What kind of competition can we be in? Baby, you prioritize this shit. I don't. It's an awful. You're crazy. You're having a whole, a whole breakdown over an outfit. You're the one that really cares about this shit. You should know better than me. You should know better than that. It's funny side. how people show what they really be feeling when something like this happens. To me... This is more than just aesthetics. Sounds like somebody wants somebody boo, but can't have him. And it seems like these besties were doing more than talking. The evidence is in Tav's baby daddy, Skillabing songs. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. Vibes Cardle is confusing his enemies. After his interview with his lawyer, Isat Buchanan, this controversial interview caused an issue a few days ago when Vibes Cardle was heard in a jealous rage telling his wife to watch what she's doing because she was asking someone in the studio for the Wi-Fi password. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Fans were very disturbed about this. Some even warned the world boss to take good care of the white woman. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. Whether she is white, pink, yellow or black, it does not matter. All women deserve respect. I honestly think that Vibes Cardle is just doing that for shock value to confuse everyone. I'm sure she knows whether she is being abused or not. Does she looks unhappy? In fact, Sidem seems to enjoy her husband talking to her like that. Who knows what turns on this Turkish beauty? According to Vibes Cardle, she throw pot, she throw plate. She even chimed in when he was saying this in his background and say she didn't throw him. <laughs> Turkish people are just as hot-tempered as Jamaicans. So don't get it twisted. We probably should leave this one where it is. If Vibes Cardle want to air his business out on the internet every day, he is free to do so. Just don't turn into Blueface and Krishan rock on us. Babe, I'm a on your blood. No? No, a liar, a mean, Lyles, needed an excuse. To give the world the other day, after losing the 200 meter men's Olympic meet, after being carried off the track in a wheelchair contraption when let Sile Tobogo beat him and by a gap in his race. <laughs> Noah was left looking bewildered and dazed after the race, which got track fans talking and even creating memes about him. I think he was super embarrassed because of his remarks he made before that big race and even his weird gestures before the race. He was seen doing this.
while he started the race in high spirits like this. He finished the race like he was hit with a ton of bricks. He was reported to have had COVID. How convenient. Tobogo got you knocked all the way out, man. It's surprising that former footballer Shannon Sharp was not caught talking about this because he became super vocal about Noah Lyers' win when he won the 100m gold, and now, it's all crickets. Hyping up Noah, where's the energy now, Shannon? In Jamaicans, I'm not gonna let you do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you say because your guy lost, y'all had to eat crow because yesterday you had a lot to say about Shakari. Y'all yeah. oh, yeah. had a lot to say. Well, y'all ain't talking about jump on my timeline. Just be respectful <laughs> because I got time today. Be respectful <laughs> because I told y'all uh -huh. just for today. Now, I don't want y'all to get on there, but y'all say something disrespectful and I gun y'all ass down. Hey, ESPN, does he work for you guys? Look what he said. Nah. Well, if you, hey, I'm telling you now, if you come for me and I didn't send for you, I'm going to send your ass away ha unhappy. <laughs> so, Hey, let's okay. keep it above the belt. We go like, back and forth. Hey, I like this. Hey, I like. I, I like love, this. Hey, I love I like, my Jamaican brothers and sisters, and we can have a good time trash talking, going back and forth. Right. You can say hey, it's about time, Shannon. It's been twenty years since y'all been at the top of the podium <laughs> at the Olympics, and you're absolutely right. But when y'all try to take pot shots, I'm gonna let y'all have it. I'm just yeah. letting you know. Where's the energy now, Shannon? Since your boy lost. <laughs> The official has a huge fallout with her family and is seeking a lawyer. They say blood is thicker than water, but sometimes your own family can be the hugest enemies. So D. Yan goes to live on family land, and now they want her off the land. One thing I always hear people say, don't go live on family land, and you will always have to war over dead left. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. Say, 
The man take the argument so serious. You can't want to treat no one man and tell one man say you're going to them, you say you're going to them. How when the man tell you but no? You run God to fear your sister, them want to the sister, them say you fear for your life or you desire that. Fear for which life? You're the fear for life, you're not treating people. You know where I come from? And then boom, no. This man in me in my bed, good, good asleep. Me hear people out the door call me. People don't normally come in my yard, you know, guys. Come in my yard is up and one hill. My hill very hard for climb. That's why when I turn to say any time when I hear D said he broke, D is broke. Me not afraid to come out, come talk. And I said that's why I never come on TikTok because I never want nobody to come and come send me no gift. And I only say, oh, me, I bring down family for gift. Come here to them thing, they bro. I know family do me. I never hear come to come tell us that family do me, so family do me that. I never. In a day other day, only day, I only say, I'm a friend, host me there. Open the life can't testify for me when I turn to say, I'm a friend, Airbnb. I turn to say, I know I'm going to get back light and water and them something. There. Ooh. I told me, I'm going to be full light gone. I'm going to light. I'm going to water, bro. I have a big tank in my yard full of water. I'm going to buy myself one water pump for $35,000. And the people them decide say them not nah, give me no water because me and my father not talk. Me and my father, my father, me and my father have a little disagreement and me and my father not talk. And then most of them not nah, send me no water and my father never know what I go on. And when me go to my father now, cause me can't take the pressure no more, me go to my father. And me say me can't believe you and me, you deal with so. My father say what you talk about and me show my father the vibe. My father, me, they send up water the same day. After me tell daddy what's up, them have to send up water same day come up. Because daddy say my grand pity them can't up at their yard and want water for drink and not have it. And Una go say because me and my daughter vex. My daughter have to come to me for water. Una lick on the head of water. And as so comes me get water. Them love buy out people argument. That's what them stay. argument if you really think about it you know you have some family member them not like you from all the time so you see the minute when you go so boom now and they see you smarty argue and them and the smarty good them take side because them been one take side from long time but you and them just not have no smoke so them not have nothing for vex with your board and so they see you and the person they vex now and them and the person they good them just jump on the wagon and want this yo because just so them them want this from all the time bro they want for this from all the time so when you see me sit down and start talking, my father give me fee in peace of land. And my father said, my daughter, don't bring up on social media, leave it alone because you're good. Don't follow nobody. Don't, don't, don't follow the letter. Whatever this say, fuck that. You're good. But at the end of the day, my sister reached out to them and them are this my sister and them are going like say, oh, with them sister and Riri. So I decided that I'm going to put it on my social media platform too. Because... Clearly, if so much are only gang up against me, uno must have on a little click up on a little group up on a little chatting, don't it? So, una am my family then? Since I've been on a family, there's some men on a liar today, so I'm going to bring it to the media because I know I have some people from the media where they go ride with me when they see some rights. And in that case, yeah, I'm going to put up screenshots, everything on YouTube, so I'm go see some men around in that case, yeah, I'm going to go and see. You understand? But at the end of the day, it's not even about who is right and who is wrong, you know. I just want some legal advice. I want one lawyer who is willing to take my case for free. Because I don't have the money right now to get a lawyer for myself. Hence the reason why I say I don't ask nobody for no money. I don't want nobody to give me no money. I just want one lawyer. If somebody can help me get a lawyer, I that me need right now. Because I'm here fight for my house. My three point ad million and I give the work, man, then I have to get that back. You understand? In fact, me, I got times up all of the money when me do with the kitchen and the veranda next and put in a eight two and then come up because I know I say more than eleven point six million dollars spend. I know it's more than that. Yeah, man, me know say building material never in a day, the tree. When when we check the tree pan at liquid, me know when me know when I say. But me go check up everything. So if them want me house, they can have it, but they have to give me back my money. That way that I can just buy a piece of land and build a 501 bedroom for the time being. Because I one thing with me, I'm not afraid to protect the L in a life, you know. I've gone through so much shit in life, I'm not afraid to protect the L. I'm good with that. Me have a cousin, she married to a pastor. She's a of a pastor. I told them live. Them would have never. Me that never got church because of you. I you don't. You, me never go bring your husband in. Cause your husband not trouble me. God forgive me for cost the man. Cause the man not trouble me.
But me that never got church because of Uno. Because me look on you today as a pastor's wife and say a bad man you have to sit down with your mother and chat me and plot against you to take away my house. Bad man you have. And she always say it's not bad man she have. But her opinion is if Jelani is threatening our uncles for true, then she have to side with the uncles them. The trend is hot right now.